Right, hiya, so this is a second vid on the, on the last lesson of the moments. It deserves its own little video, this one, so it's quite a nice one. So it says, a shop sign is suspended by two pieces of ropes at the corners A and B. The sign is modelled as a uniform rectangular lamina with a mass of five kilos. So what that means is that that mass acts at the centre of the lamina. So if it's one metre tall, it's half a metre high the centre. If it's 80 centimetres wide, it's 0 0.4 metres. So here in the middle is where my 5G acts. Right, so just gonna kind of let me wander around the room, get the sensor back on. There we go. Right, so I've got the 5G acting. Um, now it told me, told me, what does it tell me? Uh, it says, where is it, where is it? So rope A snaps. So if you imagine this has gone now, the whole thing wants to swing round that way. So the 5G, the whole like, weight of the lamina, would want it to swing about here, about this as a pivot. So here's going to be my pivot. There. So the whole thing wants to swing anti-clockwise. And it's saying uh, what force must be applied horizontally at the corner to keep it in equilibrium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it at this corner and hold it so it doesn't go. So I have to apply a force that way. Right, so now that's going to cause an anti-clockwise moment. So let's have a... Oh, no, it's going to be clockwise, that one, isn't it? Sorry. So I'm going to have a clockwise moment. is equal to an anti-clockwise moment. So you imagine I'm hanging on to the corner of this side to stop it from, like, swinging into something and damaging it. Right, so that's my clockwise one. So that's my force times by... So I've got to look at how far away... Um, the perpendicular distances. So remember when I said about extending the forces? So it's going from here, but I'm going to extend this force and I'm going to look at the perpendicular distance. Can you see I've added that red line on? So I've extended the force so I can put a perpendicular distance. And that perpendicular distance is one metre. So one there. That's equal to... So let's see what's swinging it the other way. The 5G... So once again, if I extend the 5G, whoops, dodgy line, if I extend that 5G line so I can get a perpendicular, that's 40 centimetres, it's 0 0.4 metres away. So that's times by 0 0.4 metres. So my force is going to be 2G. It tells me G is 9.8. So my force is going to be two lots of 9.8. So my force is going to be 19.6 newtons. But two sig fig, 20 newtons to two sig fig. There. Isn't that quite a nice question, that? Because you've got to visualise it swinging. You've got to visualise you grabbing that corner to do it. But then you've got to also think that the, the, the centre of mass for the lamina is at the centre. And I also have to extend both my forces to get the perpendicular distances. So that's a nice one that's doing its own. I'm going to stop there for this last one, which is based on an exam question. Bye-bye.